So why am I devoting an entire video to one little root veggie? Well, besides the fact that I just love them for their creamy texture and their not too sweet, but kind of sweet flavor, this sweet potato is an amazing vegetable that's packed with an incredible amount of good for you nutrients. Roasted maple sweet potatoes. Anytime is a good time to enjoy the intensely healthy sweet potato, but there's something about fall weather that just says, make me right now. And if you're lucky enough to have a bit of maple syrup in the cupboard, you're almost home free on this one. But one thing I know for sure, if you make this recipe once, you're gonna go back to it over and over, I promise. So if that sounds good to you, pull up a chair, grab a glass, and join me in my Mediterranean kitchen. Hola, I'm Caroline from Mediterranean Minutes. Welcome to the channel where you can learn to eat the Mediterranean way every day, no matter where you live. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 degrees centigrade. Scrub the potatoes and slice them in half lengthwise. One of these babies is loaded with fiber, vitamin C, almost half the calcium you need for the day, twice what you need for vitamin A, thiamine, and the antioxidant beta carotene. And we get to double dip on getting in some manganese because both sweet potatoes and maple syrup are great sources of this mineral that helps keep bones strong and blood glucose levels normal. The only thing this doesn't have in abundance is calories. This one, about 140. Not that we're counting, but it's still nice to know. Brush them with a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of sea salt and freshly ground pepper. And I almost always add an optional sprinkle of sumac just to keep things nice and bright. And very tightly cover the baking pan with foil. I learned this steam then bake technique from Nick Sharma, whose cookbook, The Flavor Equation, is a wonderful wintertime read. Set your timer and steam bake for 15 minutes. And since I still have a bit of time, I'm gonna prep some carrots with olive oil, salt, and pepper, and add it to the pan at the halfway point so I can make a little carrot hummus later. Our timer just went off, so it's time to take the potatoes out of the oven, remove the aluminum foil tent, flip the potatoes over, and return them to the oven, uncovered for another 20 minutes until they're fork tender. While the potatoes and carrots are finishing up, we have just enough time to put together the creamy sauce that takes these potatoes to a whole other level. Mix a half a cup of sour cream, creme fraiche, or one of my favorites, cashew cream, together with one tablespoon each of maple syrup and lime juice, one teaspoon each of sea salt and mild chili flakes like Aleppo or Maresh or Urfa, and another shot of sumac, about a teaspoon, but this is purely optional. And while this sweet potato could almost be a meal on its own, I'm going to add a side of grilled chicken on a bed of spinach to round things out. Time's up! The potatoes are perfectly tender and creamy, so let's drizzle them with this bright and spicy creamy sauce, sprinkle them with some roasted pumpkin seeds and hazelnuts, and plate things up. And in less than an hour, we're ready to enjoy a completely balanced, healthy Mediterranean-style dinner. And if you're looking for some more Mediterranean diet inspiration, click on this playlist right now.